What's up everybody, welcome to Magic for Beginners. My name is Keith. Today's video, we're gonna be looking at some tricks from the Dealers Hall from the Blackpool Magic Convention 2024. So I'm heading down there tomorrow, which is Sunday. So the video footage will be captured from the Sunday from Blackpool. And as usual, leave a comment below, let me know what your favorite trick is. So let's begin. Hello. Hello, how are you right? doing? Yeah, okay. I'm all right. Did you touch the back of any one of these? None any of that one. forcing stuff, you have any? How's that? This one? Yes, please. And sign across the face, not your face. You'd look silly with a moustache and a beard. Exactly. Oh, sorry, dude. <laughs> now, the most important part of this trick is not to recap the pen. All right. Thanks. Because I am going to show you a miracle. With a Sharpie pen, your card, and four small, that one's not so good, but it's okay, crosses. Yeah. Every one of those Sharpie pens says permanent. Yep. That's a lie. No, really, last week I touched the ink and it moved. Look, just a shake and the second one goes the same. But it's that last one in slow motion that I can never believe. They're really on there. Can't be permanent, can it? On your card, of course. You can take it on. And that's ink ready ball. Okay, are we going? Are you going, James? How are you? Are you okay? Uh, yeah. Oh, do you want me to export the videos and promotions about our cards? <laughs> oh, we just have the last one. <laughs> right, you but, just do the trick and I'll watch yeah, yeah. it. I'm going to have a clue. Yeah, let's okay. ignore these two. They're not here. We'll have a just conversation. Us. Go. All right. What's this? Oh, it's a microphone. <laughs> <laughs> I'm tired. I'm tired. I'm really tired. <laughs> Look, so I'm Chris. I know you You know, and I know you know, but maybe some people don't know, and I want to say that. I want to show you something with Heideki that's fun. Uh, you will all know Heideki, I presume, but I'm going to show it to you anyway. To two cameras at the same time, it's like filming a TV show. Look at this. Here we go. Three keys on my keychain. I'll make this middle one vanish in a way that looks like it shouldn't be possible. And if you slow this down, you're watching this online, slow it down, it looks even better in slow motion. Watch the middle key. You can see it right there. That's the one with the pattern on it. You can see it right there. The middle key is the one to watch. I'm going to swing it back and forth, and you will see it swing, and then it will dissolve. It will stop being there. Right up to your camera and then right up to yours and you'll see it just stop being there. How many keys do you all see now? Two. Do you know where it goes, the other key? Here. <laughs> let's say um, we go in, it's all good. Let's, let's imagine I've taken the key off so it's not here anymore, but it's here. And I can show you the two keys like this. This is on the instructions for Heidi Key, but it's a more recent change that I've made to it. It's interesting. Would you hold your hand out, please? And your other hand can go on top, but leave the keys poking out so All you can right. see too. Yeah. Oh, this is good. It's getting a little more intimate than we anticipated, isn't it? Look, there we go. Two keys you can see in your hand. My hands are empty, yes? Yeah. Good. This is the key we're going to pay attention to in a second, but for right now, look here again at the two keys in your hand. I'll take this key. and make it vanish, but it doesn't go far. It goes through your hand, in between those two keys, on the keychain. Watch. Ooh, lift your hand up. There it is. <laughs> Crazy, right? No, there's no, no way. <laughs> <laughs> and if you do this, it's amazing. It actually vanishes one more time and appears back where it started, over here. <laughs> so now it feels like it jumps around, vanishes, appears, vanishes, appears, and all you need is hide a key and everything it comes with. If you have it, you know. If you don't, you should come and see me here. But if you're watching this, you're not here, so you miss out. It's all, it's all bad news. Okay. So this is John Bannon's Strangers Gallery. It's a classic from Bannon, um, but we have re-released it with much nicer cards than the ones you used to be able to get. So I'll show you to you, this is a prediction trick. Yeah. And I find that with predictions, the more I make, the luckier I get. Some, mm. some mathematical law, I don't know. Yeah. But the idea is this, we're going to go through the deck and we're going to take out from three random spots, three predictions. I think three is probably enough. We'll come back to those in a minute. And now we just need something for you to predict, or for me to predict. So I'm gonna run through the cards like this, I'm just gonna riffle down the edges of cards, and wherever you want, you say stop, and then we'll take it from there. Stop. Here? Yeah. So I'm gonna try and bite it. Now, I don't have very much nails, but we'll try it. So three of spades. Now the idea is, if that three of spades matches any of my predictions, even one, we count it as a win. Okay? okay. So let's see how we get on. At least one three of spades is what we're hoping for. So let's take a look. Prediction number one was the three of spades. Prediction number two, this is where it starts to get tricky. Prediction number two is the three of spades. We're here. Prediction number three is the three of spades. 
and prediction number four is the three of spades. So I would say that's a success. But you're probably thinking the same I was when I first watched this, which is what kind of deck has four lots of three of spades inside? They must be from different decks. And indeed they are from different decks. This three of spades is from a purple deck. That three of spades, well that's the one from the green deck. That three of spades is the one from the yellow deck. That one is the one from the red deck. But the funny thing is, none of them could have come from this deck because this deck is the blue deck. And that is John Bannon's Strangers Gallery. And you should all buy it right now. Tell me where to get the ring from, what was the occasion, who bought it for you? We're is it sentimental by you? Yeah. Watch. <laughs> okay. Where's it go? I don't know, but I'll stay calm. Okay, look, I went to the shop this morning. Let me see if I can look inside my pocket. It might be in here. Uh, right. Oh, God. Can you see I've got some extra straw mints? Can you see the seal that end? Yes. Can you seal that end? Yes. I feel, I feel. So what I'm going to do? Yeah. I'm going to break open the middle of the pack right in the middle, okay? Yeah, in the Hold middle. Hold your hand out. Right in the middle, I'm going to break open the mints. Watch this, you ready? Watch. No way. How? Have a look, can you see your ring inside there? That's an actual packet of mint. And you get to keep the mint as a souvenir as well. Hi, I'm Vinny Segu and uh, I'm the magician here. Uh, as you can tell from my very fancy badge here. And we have the lovely Rara. Rara, right, okay, nice Here's to meet me. you. Uh, and you're going to just pick a card for me. If you just say stop, 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 you're going to get that card. Have you got it? Yep. Yeah. Everybody got the card? Watch this. In a second, I'm going to click my fingers. Your card's going to be in the top. Ready? Go. Have a look at the top card. Is that it? No? No. What was your card? Yes, spades. Have a look at my magician badge. Magician. You can't you can do it if you want, if you want to help me, so you just need to put your yeah. drink down. So what we've got here is we've got Scrabble and we've got all these tiles as you can tell. Yeah, like like Scrabble tiles. Yep. And I'm just gonna take some of these out of the way. So I'm gonna take that one, that one, that one out of the way. And these are the suits, and we've got left with the uh, the values. So these are gonna bounce all over the place, and you can you can do this if you want, uh, and just grab them and then just just throw them onto the table when you get a second. And all the ones that are face down like this, I'm just going to remove them, okay? Yep. And what we're going to do is try and find if we can make a playing card. So do you want to try it again? Do you want to all right, okay. So does, that, does that make sense? Yes, yeah? so jumble them all together, yeah, chuck them down. Yeah, and chuck them down. Oh, and we've got oh. a few more that are missing here. And we've got, we got a few left. So we're almost close to a, a new card. Ready? Oh, Ooh. almost fell. Oh, there we go. So we've got that one, you've got two left. Oh, and... Again, one's got to be upside what? down. Oh, there we go. There we've we done go. It. So we've got a three. Yeah. So that's going to be for. And now we're going to make a suit for the card as well, yeah? Yeah. So I'm going to give you these, so just do that. Same thing. Oh, oh that one's still up. That, oh, they're all still up. Oh, they're all still up. <laughs> oh, oh. That's, that's quite lucky. I don't think. What's the chance? Oh, so you've got two, and you got two left, so we've got the three. Oh, so the kids can do this. It's quite yeah. fun as well. Oh, and you got rid of that one. So, so you've got the three of clubs. Yeah. Which is a random choice. Is that fair? Yeah, random, yeah. Over here on this bag, look, I've got the three of clubs there. Can you see it? Yeah. I actually had predicted it. But not on the face, actually on the back. And now you've got the three of clubs, which is on the back. Okay, the ultimate vanishing deck. That's this trick here. Not released anywhere yet, not even for sale. However, it's for sale here. You can show a deck from two angles. And then when you're ready, you can simply go here. One, two, three. You can make the deck vanish. I wish you could just get her reactions, they're brilliant. And then you can show the card both sides, your hand both sides, and give out the card at the very end. David Regal just said it was fantastic. That's the ultimate vanishing deck. Spirit's a cool little trick with a large silk, too large for a thumb tip. You pop the silk into the hand like this. Whenever you're ready, you can still show the silk in your hand. You get spectators to grab hold of your wrists. Whenever you're ready, you can make that silk vanish completely. <laughs> Don't get me, just get her reactions. <laughs> it's just, I'm like, <laughs> that's unreal. That is called spirit, everybody. Spirits. One, two, one for you. Which one would you like? I have some. Right, did you get checked? No. Oh, 
uh, many card tricks in the convention, so I won't bother you with remembering the card. Okay. You just have to remember colors this time, okay? Colors, yeah. So we start out with the red deck of cards and the blue back jumbo card. So we have to remember red, blue, and in a second we can go ahead after a quick color change and do a trick if we want it. And it's just one opportunity you have with this one. So I showed you a color change, now I want to show you a color mix, all right? Yeah. So let's see how uh, red and blue mix together. So most magicians can change red into blue. I guess that's quite common. So red, blue mix together, it becomes a really nice orange yellow in a second. And that's called decamorphosis. This is, I think, our trademark trick. This is what we're mostly known for. And uh, I just really love this gimmick because it's quick, very visual, and just really fun to do, I think. I haven't got anything. I, I genuinely have. But if, if you want to get a, a two second clip of that, then that's all right. Oh, and then you'll. <laughs> Ready whenever you are. How do I look? <laughs> Good. Be <laughs> Just like. Me. Are you going to be me assistant? No. Cool. You've, only got, get, it, you've only got to hold your hand down. I'm fine. It's all right. That's good. It's all right. It's got, it's got, I've got magic nails. It's all good. Oh, my God. <laughs> this is Chris Cross from the Enchanted Rabbit Magic Emporium. And I'm going to show you a really cool trick with this matchbox right here. Invented by Pat Conway. The trick is called Water Washer. And this right here is a washer. And what a washer it is. Would you hold your hand out for me? I'll put the washer on here. And you can see that I've got this matchbox here. And uh, through it is a piece of string running all the way through the matchbox. You can see that there. Matchbox with a piece of string running through. If you want to drop the washer into the matchbox. Perfect. You can see that in there rattling around. See that inside there? There it is. Okay, there it is rattling around. If you grab your hand and push down and close the matchbox and lift your hand up what a cool trick that is <laughs> look at that that is on there that's amazing <laughs> <laughs> that's on there that's unreal that's real <laughs> <laughs> and and i um, we've just released this it's the crisscross magic box of wonders um in conjunction with marvin burglars at marvin's magic it's a really cool magic set for beginners, it's a nice gift for magicians, or if you collect magic, it's a really cool magic set. They're 12 pounds. The matchbox trick is 25 pounds, the Pat Conway trick, what a washer. And also, on the 19th until the 21st of April, we have the Criss Cross Convention. He's some Geordie magician guy. Um, the Wizards Weekend, a stellar lineup. Roy Davenport, Paul Wilson, Michael Diamond, Luke Jamay, Ian Kendall, Freak, Pete McClanagan, Steve Faulkner, Colin Bodice, Chris Lynham. I think that's everybody covered. It's going to be a great convention. Buy your tickets now. Good to go. where it comes off. Yeah. Um. Nice. That is very good. Oh. Rara. Oh. 
Rara, yeah. Rara. Rara, yeah. Rara. 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 <laughs> I have six poker chips here. Yep. Okay. I'm gonna put them on my back. I'm gonna, I'm gonna mix them up. And I'm gonna take out one. And I'm gonna put it in my pocket. Yeah. Okay. That commits me. Tell me a number, right. one through six. Four. Sure? Yeah. Do you want to change your mind? Nope. Do you feel like I forced you? Nope. This is the three. This is the one. This is the two. This is the five. This is the six. Now that means nothing unless I can put my hand in my pocket and immediately show you number four. Oh, you take no. <laughs> Why, okay? Pretty cool, huh? Mm -hmm. Are you okay? Yeah. I have two pound coins. All right, now watch. Use the power of your mind. We're going to try and balance these two coins together on top of each other like this. Right, okay. Right, right, with the power of your mind, I want you to imagine spinning that top coin. Spinning yeah. it around. Go, do it now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. you're doing it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. No way. Wait, wait. Go, wait, go the other way. Go the other way. Back the other way. Hold out your hand. Say when. When. There you go. Welcome to MB Magic Limited, where magic happens. You take a spectator's ring from the audience. For example, a lady's beautiful diamond sterling sing sterling silver ring. Pure 100% zirconian. Not going to lose that. It's, it's very expensive. And uh, you pop that in there. Could you do me a favor? Could you hold on to your ring there for me, Sam Madam? Turn your hand up. That's perfect. Now, what I'm going to try and do here is I'm going to ask you to do me a favor. Uh, actually, look, Smarties always give you the answer, never a was. But if anything goes wrong, at least you get a pack of Smarties. Hold on to that for me. Now, here we go. One, two, three, ladies and gentlemen. Bang. Open up your hand. Did it not rip out? Did it? It should be a little hole that you can fill. No? Okay. Don't worry. Don't worry. I'm going to get this sorted. Don't worry about it. <laughs> because I've got something over here. I've got something. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to clear this all up. I'm going to clear this all up. You'll be fine. Trust me. Everything will be fine. Look. You hold that. I'll see you in a bit. <laughs> Run! <laughs> No, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Let's use those guys over there. Ready? <laughs> no, I'm kidding, don't worry, don't worry. Because as I said, Smarties only have the oh, Smarties only have the answer. As you can see, it's completely sealed. Yep, yep. Everything is sealed around here at Zool. Just break open the top of the Smarties. What's inside? Smarties. Yeah, what did you expect? <laughs> it's a Smarties, Smarties tube. tube. <laughs> Hold out your hand. Check this out. Something's blocking this. It's just Smarties, isn't it? But there's something. Something's blocking this. Ah. There's your ring. There's your Smarties. Get Smarty. I mean, let me make sure I've got the right pen. I don't want to get on sharp again. This is a normal pen. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Two angles. Yeah, two angles. Oh my goodness. Flash, flash, flash. <laughs> it's very simple. We're just going to um, riff it up, okay? Whenever you like. Just Stop. Perfect. And look, I'm just going to push that up a little bit. You can take the pen for me and just give it a little signature, okay? Got it. Now, this is the car. It doesn't really matter if I see this trick or not, so we're just going to bury it around, around the middle somewhere, yeah? Something like yeah. this. And we're going to turn everything face up. Now, I should have mentioned, I've had this business card here at the beginning. Now, this is a prediction. If you were to turn over this business card and it said something along the lines of what your card is, would that be an impressive trick? Okay, go ahead, turn it over very slowly for the suspense reasons. Go for it. Excellent. What does it say? Does it say your card? Oh. I do think I have some keys right here. Okay. Oh, I threw them on the floor. There's some keys right here. Now, on the card, on the keys, we have one playing card. Uh, could you put your hand out for me, please? Yeah. And uh, I think. Do you open that up for me? That's my signature! <laughs> <laughs> That's mine! Oh my life! How? <laughs> There you go, right? Oh. <laughs> Hi, Mom. I'm on TV. <laughs> so, 
I would love to take you on a trip down memory lane. Kids these days don't know how lucky they are. PlayStation VR, Oculus Rift, another world. Do you know what we had in my day? 3D glasses, that was it. But for us, this was virtual reality. We'll come back to those in a minute. First things first, I need to know you can perform a couple of simple actions. This is Blackpool after all, you might have been already on the... Uh, three simple actions, and then we're gonna try those same actions inside a virtual universe. Where it's much harder because everything's sort of slightly hyper real, you don't quite know where your hands are. Have you done an Oculus? It's weird, you go to touch and you don't know where your hand is. It's really disconcerting. So, three actions, I'll show you. Quick. One, open the box, get your hand out of the way. Two, slow. Three, quick. So it's quick, slow, quick. Do you reckon you could do that? It's been a long weekend, but let's try it. So you're gonna hold it here like this, and you're gonna go quick, slow, quick. Try it. Quick, okay, so. Try and do it just like that, just like this on that part. Yeah, 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 exactly. Quick, good, slow, slow, pop the top. And then quick, chuck the cards into your hand. And now, you can shuffle them because they're in your hand. Perfect. There's method in my madness. Excellent. So, as we can clearly see, a fairly fully shuffled pack of cards. Indeed. Good. I'm going to run down the deck. I'd like you to shout stop for me anywhere you like by my little finger. Stop. Excellent. Look at that, every time. Take that for me. Show it to the camera, don't show me. Stick it back in the center for me. Remember that card, really important. Now you and I are gonna enter the realm of 3D reality. There's one for you, one for me. We'll come back to the cards in just a second. There's a noise as we enter the realm. The noise is shh. You ready? Shh. I can't believe he did the noise as well. It's brilliant, I thought it was only me. Now we're in the 3D realm. Look at this. They look like they're coming at you, don't they? They, they do indeed. Yeah, because they are. <laughs> right. So, what's going to happen? Just like these look like they were coming at you. You're going to do quick, slow, quick. As you open the cards, in the 3D world, this will look rubbish to you, I'm sorry. But to us, in the 3D world, it will look like those cards fly in the air. As they fly in the air, in 3D. I'm going to reach up, grab one card, double right flip, land back into one of these with your card in my teeth. That would be incredible, wouldn't it? I mean, obviously it's bonkers, because it's just a normal deck of cards. We just saw them and shuffled them. But it would be amazing. So, quick, slow, quick. You ready? Three, two, one, go. Quick, whoa, 3D, 3D. Didn't it look like they jumped out the pack? Now, obviously, it's gonna look rubbish to you, but to me and him, that almost looked like they genuinely came out of there. Now, this is important. Was that your car? No. Was, was, can you see it? What about on this side? Was that your car? Any of those? No, no. Remind me, what was your card again? Two of five. Ah, was that your car? And if you look at this, they're coming right at you. <laughs> Hi mom, I'm on TV. 3D. 3D cards. Wow. Anyone you like, free choice. Yeah. Show the camera. Yeah. In the I'll put it back yeah. in the center. Nothing in my left. Nothing in my right. Finding your cards easy. It's right there. Yeah. Once it goes in the middle, it becomes much, much harder. Yeah. Nothing? Nothing. <laughs> Nothing. Nothing. Keep your eye on the cards. Finding your cards easy. Getting it to you. See my shadow? Yeah. Watch. But it's only a good trick if it's your card. It's my card! <laughs> That's Bluetooth Are you getting, by you Cyrus getting Magic. <laughs> nice to meet you, I'm nice Thomas. Nice to meet you, I'm Thomas, I'm Rara. Nice to meet you. Uh, this is a very simple card for Okay. We use a little post-it and a sharpie. And the trick is all about the coincidence. Okay. Also, we have a shuffle deck of playing cards. It's 52 different cards. Mm -hmm. But we shuffle two, like this way. I cut it to half. It seems... 26, 26 cards. You shuffle one pile and I shuffle another one. You touch one pile, okay? You start to shuffling. And you can stop whenever you want. After my shuffling, I put it my deck into the box and 
I'm not touched before the end of the day. I show you what you should do. You hold it like face down, you take under the table, under the table you turn face up and you cut and complete, cut and complete, ah. and you can stop whenever you want. Okay. And after that, you take the top or the bottom card, mm -hmm. turn face down and put it back in the middle. You just leave it here. That's great. So as I said, we have the little post and the sharpie. And I write it down the first number, which has come to my mind. Between 1 and 26. Let's try this one. So, I just press the deck. In your shuffle deck, it has one face down card. Yeah. And before I spread the deck, I said I write it down the first number, which has come to my mind. So I write it down one. And you have a shuffle deck, and I have a shuffle deck either. And in my shuffle deck, the first card is a seven of spades, which is interesting because every single card it has a pair, and the pair of the seven of spades. It's the Seven of Cups, which is your card. <laughs> but before we start the trick, I promise you, this trick is all about a coincidence. <coughs> and this is not a real coincidence. The real coincidence is this. In your shuffle deck, and in my shuffle deck, the top two card is also <laughs> And the next two, and the next one. Nines and the sixes and the kings and the eights and the aces and the twos and every single card the ace, the queen, the five, the seven, the six, the three, the four, the jack, the jack, the king, the five, the eight, the two, and the queen. And this is a coincidence. <laughs> That's amazing! <laughs> it was a prediction effect. Uh, but before we started, it's a normal deck of playing card. You can examine and you can shuffle. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, you cut it a half, try to equal. It's perfect. Okay, so every single time when the magicians are doing a prediction effect, they show the prediction in the last few seconds. And I don't know why, because it's a prediction. So we start with the prediction. The prediction is four cards. King of Diamond, Two of Spades, Five of Hearts and Ten of Clubs. Yeah. You take any deck. Okay. You take under the table. You under under the table pull it out one card from the middle. Turn face up and put it back to another place. Okay. And I do the same. Yeah. Okay, now we switch our decks. And we do the same. Take under the table, pull it out one card from the middle, turn it face up, and you take to another place. Now, both, both decks, we have uh, two, two face-up cards. We turn over, and we spread it. So, we hold the four face-down cards. Yeah, this, uh, this is in your... Uh, this hand? It's okay. Yeah, okay. yeah, perfect. So, the prediction is King of Diamond, Two of Spades, Five of Hearts, and Ten of Clubs. King of Diamond, Two of Spades, Ten of Clubs, and Five of Hearts. Ring <laughs> 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 over you. You guys ready? Yeah, ready? <laughs> yeah. Don't freak out, so. Just kidding. <laughs> Just kidding. Watch this. It's a pistol and one, three, two, one. What? <laughs> Best in? <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> a real bundle? <laughs> Make sure they are normal. Yeah, they're normal. It's normal. They are no they are not normal because watch. What? Put it somewhere else like this. <laughs> Put back. <Whoa. laughs> Can you switch your finger like this? Switch your finger. You can, you can right? Yeah. But that's not actually switching. Actual switching will look like this. Yeah. Okay. Come camera. Watch this. So this is a band. If I release it, it goes back. It's elastic. But what if I can manipulate time and make time go into the opposite direction? When time flows into opposite direction. Three, two, one. 
time reverse. Whoa, <laughs> shut up. <laughs> Love and hate. Yeah. Maybe opposite emotions, right? Yeah. So we want to see if you have the power to separate your negative and positive emotions. This deck has got 26 different emotions on it, okay? Mm -hmm. Some of the, half of them are positive, yeah. half of them are negative. So what I need you to do is take the cards for me. Yeah. Put them like that, put your hand over the top. Oh, okay. Feel the cards. If you feel like it's a positive card, I want you to put it here. Mm -hmm. If you feel like it's a negative card, I want you to put it here. Face down? Face down. You feel like that's positive? Wait. Let's have a look. Oh, that's a good start. That's a positive card. So carry on. It's positive there, it's negative there. Right, okay. When you get about halfway down, the cards are going to tell you to stop. And I want you to count. They'll tell me when. They'll tell you when to stop. When you get about halfway down, I need you to stop. You're doing really good. Are you feeling the energy from the cards? Oh, we thought about that one. Mm. Let's think about that one. You feel like that's about halfway? Yeah. Yeah? I don't, yeah, I've not got the urge to buy the way now. Oh, Alright, that's it then. That's the card selling you the stop. Okay, keep those in your hand. Alright. So now we're going to prove to everybody here, to me, and more importantly, you're going to prove it to yourself that you have the ability to separate negative from positive emotions. So we're going to do an actual break right now and we're going to switch it on its head and this is going to prove to you that you can do this so what i need you to do is put the rest of the cards that you have in your hand positive here oh. negative here we're going to switch it over right okay okay yeah go, go again right. go again this is positive this is positive, positive here now. negative here so whatever you're feeling get into it not even looking at them now <laughs> Very good. Yeah. Very, very good. All right, so it should be about half and half, right? Yeah, I think so. 26, wasn't it? Perfect. Well, there's 24 because there's two here. Right, okay, yeah. And you've dealt exactly 12 right. there and exactly 12 there. So you're really good at this. Okay. All right, so we know that the first one that you did was positive because yes. we already looked at it, right? Yeah. But then every other one you dealt was a positive card until we told you to stop and change and then when we changed every card then became negative and this side we started off with the negativity and you dealt every negative card until you stopped and from that moment on every card was positive well done you smashed it <laughs> So you're gonna help me, is that right? Yeah. Good stuff. So we've got all these different Lego sets. Uh, I will tell you the most painful thing in the world is going down stairs and standing barefoot on Lego. It's a nightmare. Uh, you quickly give these a shuffle. And we'll put them down there and you can take one of these, any one you want. Have a look at it, remember it? Yeah. Pop it back, that's gonna be my big finish. So put that over there. It's these that are important for now. So you're going to pick one of these. You can have any one that you want to. I'm going to try and read your mind. So touch one. That that one there. Are yeah. you sure? Yeah. Take it. Have a look at it. Put it back when you're done. It's anywhere you want. Concentrate on the Lego set. Look at me. Just say it over and over in your head, not out loud, because that's not mind reading, that's listening. Uh, but in your head over and over again, elephant, 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 yeah, I thought so. Um, let's see if we can do that again. Touch a different one. There, you uh, should have a look at it. Yeah. Yeah. Pop it back. Um, concentrate on the thing. Imagine that you're building it up. There's bricks in front of you and you're building it up. It's quite big. It's a vehicle, but it's bigger than the car. I'm seeing a lot of whites. It's a boat. It's, uh, it's not a boat, it's a yacht. <laughs> now each one of these has a little description at the bottom. Tells you about the Lego set. There's thousands of words over 52 cards. They're all different. Um, we're going to try and narrow it down to one. So this time, touch a card. 
How many are you sure? Yeah. Take a look at it and read the text block and pick a nice long word. Maybe over six or seven so letters. This is exactly. Mm -hmm. You got it? Yeah. Put it back there. Um, think of the letter. Think of the word. Think of the first letter. Mm -hmm. It's an I. Think of a letter in the middle of the word. Mm -hmm. Oh, you went back and forth between like an O and an R. Mm -hmm. There's a T at the end. Important. Now I could do this over and over again, but do you remember you picked a Lego set at the very beginning? Yes. I've had a prediction here from the very beginning. Underneath here. What was the name of your Lego set? Yeah. Ambulance. Yeah, that's what I got. How's that? Yeah. This is like a show.